Well, between all of those different violent events, it's been a terrible last couple of months for families affected by all of this. Grief and trauma are just as real for our kids as they are for any adult. Kaya shows us how a North Minneapolis author is trying to help kids learn to cope with this kind of stuff, like grief, while he deals with his own. Papa Lemon was my grandfather, had his own land in Mississippi, over 200 acres. He has such an impact on my life. In every multicultural history book, Lehman Riley writes, Here's Papa Lemon. Papa Lemon is a character. My grandfather is the wise neighborhood grandfather with all the history questions with his magical train that allows kids to go back and revisit different leaders and events in history. So far, what types of topics have your children's books covered? We started with Dr. King and Harriet Tubman, and then we went on to the Navajo Code Talkers and Babe Dietrichson, and then I went on to write about uh, mental health and bullying. Papa Lemon passed away after a successful career in the railroad industry. Riley's newest book features another family member. She joked a lot and we had fun. But he never imagined her story would be a story of grief. Losing Lizzie is in honor of his daughter who died in 2020 at 23. And it's about my youngest daughter. Her real name was Tiana Elizabeth. She was murdered due to a dose of fentanyl that was given to her. And you know, getting that call in the middle of the night was like a horrible nightmare that's still going. According to NAMI Minnesota, grief isn't a straight path and it isn't over in a year. You'll be okay on some days and not okay on others. Every morning I wake up thinking about my baby girl. This was not therapeutic. I cried writing this whole book and still to this day I haven't opened this book up to read it. I can't get the courage to open it up. I can talk about my baby girl, but I can't read the words that I wrote. What in the book then could help others? Because just on my drive over to your home, I saw the memorial for Deshaun Hill, young person. Over in St. Paul, a shooting at a rec center. We had a stabbing at a high school. And they need to understand it takes time. There's no time frame for grief. Let kids understand it's okay to scream if you have to. It's okay to just cry. It's okay to be alone. At the end of the story, there are a couple of blank pages for readers to write down or express their own feelings of grief. Riley says North High School already purchased copies as students cope with the 2022 murder of star athlete Deshaun Hill. And Riley is personally going to schools metro-wide to inspire young people to write about the Lizzie's and Papa Lemons in their lives. Kaya Edwards, CARE 11 News. Each of those incredible books cost $12, and $2 from each sale goes to the Lizzie Scholarship Fund. That's for African-American girls to further their art education because Lizzie loved art.